and welcome to this second Animals of Saskatchewan video. My name is Talia Fawcett and I'm with the Yellowhead Flyway Birding Trail Association. And today we are going to talk about painted turtles, which is super exciting. So here we have a map of Canada and the United States. And on it, it tells us where the painted turtle lives. So we see the red is where Saskatchewan is right up there. And so we can see that painted turtles can kind of be around where we are and maybe just a bit south of us. So the wolf lived kind of where we were in north and now this painted turtle lives kind of where, where Yorkton is and south of that too. You can find turtles in freshwater ponds or lakes and turtles eat different plants and algae in this water and they also can eat small water bugs and small fish as well. So with painted turtles, we see that they um, have a nice shell, a green shell and yellow markings on them. One fun fact about painted turtles is that inside their mouth, they do not have any teeth. They don't use teeth to, and no turtles really have teeth like humans or other animals, um, like mammals, um, but they have these different um, kind of horns on the top of their mouth and the bottom that grind their food. Also, their tongue doesn't move that well, so they like to eat when they're underwater because they kind of grind their, um, yeah, they grind their food instead of using their tongue and teeth. So it's a bit different, and so you can kind of see there that they don't have any teeth in that picture. One unique thing, I was mentioning their yellow markings, so all of these yellow things on their face, um, but these yellow markings are unique for every painted turtle. So. It's kind of like when you're talking about the wolf and how the wolf has a unique howl. These painted turtles have unique uh, face markings that tell them apart. And so you will never see um, one turtle that has the same uh, face markings as another. So that's pretty cool. Now this picture is very interesting. And this is a, um, a turtle shell that is shedding. Now, did you know that uh, turtle shells have different scoops on them, they're called. So these are these different um, kind of circles that make up their turtle shell. And around a year or every two years, these, these scoops shed. So they kind of peel away. And um, it, it peels away because the shell is growing with the turtle. So you can actually kind of tell and guess how old a turtle is by looking and, tr and counting how many times a uh, turtle's shell has shed its scoots. It leaves rings all around, kind of like around in here, and you can count those rings and then you can tell how many times uh, the scoots have been shedding. And then usually what you do is you divide that amount of rings by two, and that's the age of the turtle. So it's kind of like a tree, how you can count tree rings, um, except for that it's for a turtle. So that's pretty cool. So over here I have something to show you. Can you guess what this is? If you said a turtle shell, you are right. This is a painted turtle shell, or half of it that's left. It's kind of old. But we can see here, um, we can see the scoots right here. And this is what I was talking about in the picture. Um, all around here there's these rings all around and they make kind of these circles. You can kind of see the ridges on this. Let's see if I can go closer. But you can see that there's these rings all around and you can count that to see how old um, the shell and the turtle is. Here we can see that the scoots over here are kind of flaky and they would be shedding too. And that's probably because this uh, turtle shell is old, um, but it could have been shedding when we found the turtle shell too. And we can see also if we look this way, we can see around um, that this is where one of the legs would have gone. Now on the bottom, you can also see the scoots um, right here. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six right now. But over here you can see, if we look closely, you'll see these little ridges. And those are the rings that we're talking about that we can count. And you can count the scoots rings on the bottom as well. And we can see that this is pretty hard. You can hear that, it's a really hard shell. And do you know why it's hard? Well, these shells protect turtles from their predators and from different animals that want to bite them and eat them. 
So today, uh, we are going to do a painted turtle craft and we are going to make a painted turtle out of rocks. So we are going to paint our own painted turtle. So this craft can be done anywhere and it can just be done around your neighborhood and all you need for it are rocks that you can find around your neighborhood and then acrylic paint and a paintbrush. So very, very simple. So we're going to go on a nature walk around our neighborhood and try and find different rocks. You'll need six rocks. One big one for uh, the turtle shell, then you'll need four smaller ones for its feet, and then one medium sized one for its head. So you'll collect those around your neighborhood or at a different path or whatever you wanna do, and then we will go into painting our painted turtle. Once you collect all of your rocks, you can go inside and paint your painted turtle. I, I think I will use black paint and green paint and yellow and red. So I will paint mine and show you my finished product. Okay, so here we have my painted turtle. I finished it up. Here is my shell. I used a black underneath and then did green to make the little different scoots that we were talking about earlier. On the bottom, I painted it just yellow and then a black all the way around. And then I had little red dots for detail, but you can do whatever you want there. Then you can't forget all the yellow lines on the feet. So first for the rocks, for the legs and the head, I used black paint first and then used yellow paint and lines to make those um, really unique lines that the painted turtle has. So here you can see that, remember we talked about these lines, that every turtle has unique lines on it. I add some red too to different areas as well. And then I added some eyes. And there you go. So can you make a painted turtle? Please send a picture to me if you do it. And yeah, thank you so much for doing this activity. I will see you next time.